Hello and welcome to you all watch lovers. Today I thought I'd share with you this $20 gem of a watch that's become my newest favourite everyday watch. Welcome to Wrist Action. It's the Casio W86 and I'm surprised at how good it is. For the low price point I wasn't expecting much and I just wanted a watch that I could wear every day without having to worry about it, but it's so much more than that. For a start, it has a 7 year battery life and 50 meters of water resistance, meaning that you can take it at least swimming without water getting in. The case and band are made of resin and the band has plenty of holes for adjustment. The buckle is made of metal and finished in matte black, which is a nice touch. There's even a touch of colour on the watch's black face with the words electroluminescence and illuminator being highlighted in turquoise. We'll come back to this later. It's pretty lightweight weighing in at only 25 grams meaning that it's super comfortable on your wrist. Dimensionally speaking, it's almost the same size as its cousin the F91W which is at a similar price point but inferior to this watch in my opinion. The W86 is however just 1mm longer and slightly thicker than the F91W and the watch wears larger than its size suggests, meaning that it doesn't look like a toy watch on those with larger wrists. The resin strap is slightly wider than the F91W's and feels softer and better finished. There are also ventilation holes which not only serve as a design feature but also reduces the stickiness that resin bands can feel on your wrist on warm days. For the features it has a built in alarm with an hourly chime and a stopwatch with split time that can measure first and second place. I've saved its best feature till last though and that's its feature proudly displayed on the watch's face with the words electroluminescence and illuminator which refers to the watch's backlight. One of the criticisms of the F91W is its weak LED backlight which does a very bad job of lighting up the display. That has been fixed in the W86 as its electroluminescence panel lights up the whole display without any heat spots. I've noticed that Casio seems to be phasing out EL backlights in favour of LED and some watches with the word illuminator on the dial which was once an indicator of EL backlighting now come with LED. I'm not sure of the exact reason for this but one of the reasons may be that EL backlights are harder to produce and possibly more expensive than LED as they require an additional voltage changer on the module to power the EL panel. With LED backlights they don't have to do this, they just simply have to add on the LED chip on the module. For this reason I wouldn't be surprised if Casio stops producing the W86 or its very similar cousin the F105W. So my advice would be to get this watch if you like EL backlighting. Now let's talk about the downsides to this watch. There are a couple but they're only small considering the price point. The first is that this watch has no dual time. I like to have a second time zone built into a watch for when I go abroad but it's not a huge problem as changing the time is easy. The second is that the backlight has no afterglow. Afterglow is when the backlight stays on for about 3 seconds after you press the button. To keep the light on you need to press down the button for the duration. First world problems eh? 
So in summary, the W86 is a no-frills and solid workhorse whose build quality belies its tiny price point that should be in the collection of watch fans who like EL backlights. I bought my W86 from Argos which still has the watch available but I can't find any on Amazon as I have read reports that it may already have been discontinued. If you can't get a hold of this watch then get the F105W which is nearly the same watch before that gets discontinued as well. Thanks for watching Wrist Action and I'll catch you in the next video.